What's up YouTube? In this video we're going to play around with the CVSWAT Beetle. We're going to be making up some weather pack automotive connections. These are really nice for doing your automotive wiring for any kind of project, whether it's lighting, stereos, uh, anything. Um, they're really nice because it makes a really clean install and it's a quick disconnect. You can uh, uh, remake them if you mess up or if a, a connection goes bad over time you can take them apart and put new components in them. So they're pretty cool, I dig them. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I make one up. So here's a weather pack connector. So this is a male plug and here's a female plug. You can see how they go together. You see the rubber seal? Boom, clicks together. On the male plugs, I like to put the female pins inside. On the female ones, I like to put the male inside. <laughs> the very first thing that you do you install this little rubber seal because it sucks after you do a crimp and you remember oh crap I forgot to put that seal on that means most of the time you're gonna end up having to cut this off unless you know it's just a short chunk of wire most of the time you're gonna have to cut this off and put this back put this on and then redo the crimp so there's two there's like three parts to these these pins this tab right here that locks itself into the connector. This tab right here is for the crimp on the wire, and this tab right here is for crimping on the seal right here. Lay the wire where the crimp tab's gonna happen and do a little measurement on how much of this insulation I need to cut off the wire. I need about that much. That's about what you're looking for right there. Now, when orienting these in the crimpers, I'm gonna use the largest slot for the crimper. You'll notice that one side has a little M shape, and the other side has just a little like round chunk. So the round portion is the side that would be on the back side opposing where the tabs are oriented. So you see the tabs are oriented up towards the M, that's what you want. So I got that in there, and crimp it. Pop my hand. All right, there you go. So you see how the tab folds it into itself onto the wire? That is a nice crimp. Now you're gonna slide the little rubber seal down. And to crimp the seals, you've got two options for the seal. I'm gonna go with the bigger one. And boom, it's crimped. Now this is how you install them. Pop them in there. See how it's locked in there? It's sealed on this side, and it's got a nice little seal on that side. To disassemble, you just pop that in there, and this pops right out. Freaking awesome. Here's the beetle. We're gonna make up this connection to the fan. Nice little weather pack connection will be sick. What's really awesome about uh, these connections is I don't know what the polarity is on, on this fan. So I'm just gonna wire it up and I get a 50% chance of having it go in the right direction. What's really cool is if it's going the wrong direction, I can take it apart and then put it back together. I'm gonna put on the mail pins and I forgot the crimper. No, I didn't, it's right here. There's one. All right, oh, this one's all bunched up. And we're just gonna pop these in. Cool, made up, just slam that on there. It's locked in. Let's do the other side. So this has a little sheath I don't wanna mess up. But I am gonna trim it. Man, that sun feels amazing.
Well, that's all made up. Look at that. Nice, clean install. Can be disconnected, put back together. It's ready to rock and roll again. See, so doing those crimps aren't too bad. If this uh, video helped you out in any way on your project or inspired you to work on yours at home, please hit that like button. If you're new to this channel, take a second, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. Thanks.